What's up YouTube, it's your boy James back with another video. And today we're going to do a review and an unboxing for the Air Jordan 1 Mid in the Signal Blue colorway. So this sneaker came out a couple of weeks back and it had a retail price tag of $125. Now this particular shoe that I have in my possession today I purchased from Nike.com. Now whether you're a fan of the Air Jordan 1 Mid or not, one thing is undeniable. These things are gaining some popularity. They don't sit on shelves the way that they used to. And the state of the sneaker industry, the way that it is now with everyone catching L after L after L, people are turning to the Jordan 1 Mid more now than they ever have before. It's available and it's affordable. So in today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into this sneaker and see if it's worth $125. I'd like to welcome back all my returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for stopping by, spending your time with me, and watching another video. But if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is James and I do reviews on sneakers, gear, and sports related items. And if you all could take a moment out to destroy that like button for me, I would really, really appreciate it guys. And if you're new here or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop one of these videos and you don't miss anything. Now I'm in a lot of sneaker groups online, a lot of Facebook groups. You know, because I love sneakers, I like to see, you know, if people catch dubs or they catch their L's. I want to see where everybody's head is at, you know what I mean? And it's a good way for me to gauge, you know, just the sneaker market in general. You know what I mean? Like, I typically know, you know, just, you know, following these groups, you know, what people are going after, what they're not, you know, how they really feel and stuff like that. And whenever the Air Jordan 1 University Blue came out the other day, I actually saw a lot of people picking up this Air Jordan 1 mid you know, in the Signal Blue colorway is like a consolation prize. I can't tell you how many, you know, pictures I saw, you know, with people in their cars, you know, showing these mids. And the mid gets a lot of hate, but I'm telling you what, now people are picking them up. You know, like they're, they're not as unpopular as they used to be. And, you know, it's just because we just can't get the highs. We can't, you know, we can't really afford to pay six, seven, eight hundred dollars every time a Jordan 1 high is released. So, you know what I mean? A lot of people pick this sneaker up. I do have the box right here. So we're gonna unbox this Air Jordan 1 mid in the Signal Blue colorway. And like I said, this came from Nike.com. Shipping was a little bit slow. You know, it took about two weeks for it to come from the day it was released on there. So here you got your typical Air Jordan mid box. You got the black with the gold jump man there. You got the 23 on this side. Now the official size tag reads Air Jordan 1 mid SE signal blue, black, white. And this is a size 11 and a half. Inside the box you have your white tissue paper with the gold 23 imprinted all over the paper. And here we go with our first look at this sneaker. And there it is. My first impressions right out of the box is this thing is shiny. Um, it's basically all the materials except for the, uh, the mid panel and the front toe box and the top of the sneaker is all done in patent leather. And, um, you know, I don't mind the patent leather on Jordan 1s. I actually like that they've been doing that a lot recently. So it's not a bad touch at all, but it is shiny. Starting here at the top, you do have your Air Jordan Wings logo. And then you have that signal blue that goes all the way down the eyelids and the front toe box, the back heel of the sneaker. In the middle of the sneaker, you have this white panel, and this is synthetic white leather. And then you have your Nike swoosh in black but it does have this signal blue threading that outlines it, which is pretty cool. Now on the front toe box, you do have your perforated holes and you do get that white synthetic leather again. It's not the softest at all. You know, it's kind of stiff. Eh, I mean, for $125, you know, they're gonna, you know, not give you, you know, really great materials, but it's not terrible. Then you do get an all white rubber midsole that goes around the entire sneaker and that sits on top of an all black rubber outsole in that classic Air Jordan 1 design. And then on the top of the tongue, you do get a Jordan Jumpman and the air lettering that's in black. Now, I think this is one thing where people, you know, tend to hate on the mids. And that's, you know, they think that the tongue looks weird with the Jumpman on it. And although it doesn't bother me personally, I can actually kind of see their point. Because if that said Nike Air, psh, that would be fire. I mean, it would look so much better. But personally for me, it just doesn't bother me that much. But I can see their point. 
Overall, it's not a bad sneaker for 125 bucks. So if you're interested in maybe possibly picking them up, you know, they're going for pretty cheap on the resale market. So, you know, they're easy to get, they're affordable. You know, you can rock them daily. You ain't gotta worry about messing them up or anything like that. Um, personally, I didn't buy this for me. I actually got this for a friend of mine who uh, really liked the colorway because he has a car the same color as this and he wanted it to match. So Dave, you can come pick up your sneaker. You owe me $125, bro. This isn't a colorway that I would have went after. Um, I know it kind of looks like it's a UNC colorway, but it's not. It does have a you know a more darker, you know, different texture of blue. Um, so I mean, like I don't know, just not for me personally. I do rock with mids heavy though, but just this one, you know, this one isn't for me. But I want to know what you think about this sneaker. Is this a cop? Is this a pass? Is this dope or is this trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for rocking out with me and watching another video before you guys bounce out. If you haven't already done so, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much in advance. And if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content on sneakers, gear, or sports-related items. And until next video, peace.